What's good, Eagles fans? This is your boy, Tony DeShields II, and you guys are locked in on your dose of Chalk It Up. We're no matter if we win or if we lose, we just gotta charge it to the game. If you guys are new to my content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more. And if you guys have been loyal to the channel, loyal to the soil from the very beginning, you already know what my heart is. You know how we get down here, Chalk It Up. Also, make sure you guys please go check out the Chalk It Up merch shop as well. The links are available down below in the description if you wanna support me and the channel. And you know I love to support y'all, I'm always grateful. But without further ado, let's hop right into the content. So I want to talk about Jalen Hurts thus far in training camp. It's been three days and he has shown incremental improvement each and every day. Now, his first day of training camp didn't necessarily go as well as we had liked. But again, it's only training camp and he got all his reps with the first team on all three days. But let's just start from day one and talk about his numbers and then we'll, and we'll carry over to day three. Now... As it pertains to day one, Jalen Hurts went 5 of 14, two touchdowns, one interception, 20 reps. Now, that's not really efficient in any capacity. Granted, he had two touchdowns, but he turned the ball over and he wasn't the most accurate. He missed easy passes. He missed passes that we saw him miss last season in that four game span. And we expect more out of him. We expected more out of him. But again, it's only training camp. So a lot of people are giving him a C grade, a C minus grade. Now, moving on to day two. He improved tremendously. My man went 5 for 17, one touchdown, no interceptions on 28 reps. So more reps, more opportunities, but he went 15 to 17. That's a very good stat line for just training camp. And like I said before, it's only training camp. We have so much more to see, especially with this guy being under the rest. Those guys aren't trying to take his head off yet. But the bottom line is the dude is showing progress. A very, very large jump from day one, in my humble opinion. And a lot of people are giving him a B grade for that day. So he's getting better, right? But then he took it to a whole another level on day three, seeing the end zone way better and actually hitting guys and taking advantage of his opportunities. He went 10 to 13, three touchdowns, no interceptions, and one rushing TD. He's beginning, he's beginning to see the field way more, and I love it. This is by far his best practice. It's only three days into training camp. The dude is going to be a dynamo, and I can feel it. His ability to just hold himself accountable, his ability to just, to just, not just hold himself accountable, but hold the people around him accountable as well. He understands that he has to lead by example. And the guy just has a skill set that's ultimately going to translate very well with this new Nick Sirianni offense, you know, being able to roll out of the pocket, uh, running the ball and being able to turn those running plays into play action plays to, you know, to trick defenses. It's really going to be exciting to see this guy. And you think about Jalen Hurts just as an athlete. You think about what he did last year. He has so much to build on. He has so much to bring to the table. He, he, he has so much flash, so much pizzazz when it comes to his game. It's kind of hard not to root for this guy. And on top of that, he's been healthy through and through. Granted, only three days, but he's been healthy, unlike other guys that we know. So I think it's important to take... Every practice with a grain of salt, there will be good days, there will be bad days, there will be better days, there will be worse days. But you clearly can see the improvement from Jalen Hurts each and every day. By the time the season comes around on week one, who knows where he might be? And we all know the work he's been putting in the offseason. He's been working in with quarterback gurus. He's been, you know, working with the team, building that chemistry. It's obvious that day one was, you know, knocking off the rust. But now that day two and day three have come about, the man is really taking the bull by the horns. And the only way left to go is up. And I'll leave it at that. I'm your humble host, Tony the Shuster II. And you guys have been locked into your dose of chalk it up. Where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just gotta charge it to the game. One love, stay humble, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay hungry. And fly this fly.